What I generally like to do is I like to make the fade at the back uh, very long and the fade at the front uh, shorter. Sometimes I don't even have one. Let's see what it sounds like with no fade. Nah, okay. So that's good. And now it's ready to uh, be edited in Adobe After Effects. So let's go ahead, file, render as, and this is where we're gonna change it back to uh, having audio. So let's go over to audio, include audio, and okay. And we're gonna call this one Adobe Ready. And you guys will see that Adobe After Effects is actually um, essential to editing for these intros. It's really good. It adds uh, finishing touches that you don't think you would need, but when you see it, it just makes it look so much more professional. So if you don't have this software, this may be a bit of a hassle because uh, you're going to need to download some plugins for it too, along with the 2.6 gigabyte file of this. Um, I didn't really like downloading it at first because I used to watch little tutorials like this to uh, learn how to uh, do these kind of intros, but uh, once you see it, then you understand. So let's just go ahead and minimize this. Uh, don't exit it. So let's go ahead and uh, open Adobe After Effects. <laughs> kind of like stuttered that sentence out. So I'm using Adobe After Effects CS6. Uh, the plugins that I'm going to be using are uh, Magic Bullet Looks uh, and also I'm going to be using a custom font called Typograph. Uh, I don't remember where I got it to be honest. It might be on the font. I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead file, import, and then file. Uh, go to desktop and scroll down and Adobe ready. So now we've got our intro and just drag it in like so and here. And here's our intro preview. So let's go ahead and get I'm gonna make I'm gonna stop mine right here. And first thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply magic bullet looks. So if you don't have this, then just search it on YouTube. You can also obtain this software, or this plugin, the same way that you could also obtain this software. And uh, when you have it ready, you just go into effect, magic bullet looks, and it's like looks. It will then come up with uh, this over here, and we'll just select edit. And I have a lot of presets for this. Um, Personally, I hate it when people in tutorials do this. I'm just going to put that out there where they have all these presets and stuff pre-made. So I like to uh, usually tell people where it is that I get my presets. And I'm sorry, uh, Adobe, or not Adobe, Magic Bullet looks usually lags a little bit like that. And that's strange. Um, click edit. It's really weird. I've never seen that happen. It's going to crash again? Oh no, here we go, okay. So, uh, here's Magic Bullet looks, don't know what it's doing. It's looking really weird for some reason. I don't know. I'm gonna exit it, uh, see if I can get the, uh, Magic Bullet looks to actually work. Uh, sorry about this, I don't know why it's not working. Like it normally does. Normally it just opens, yeah, and here we go, that's what it's supposed to look like. So, it'll show you a still frame of which frame you're on right now, and then what you do is you mouse over here, just like Windows 8 kind of thing, and uh, it's got all these presets already. You won't have this one or this one, you'll just have all these. Uh, what you want to look up is Dare Zebo, uh, not Color Correction Pack 1, but Dare Zebo's um, Magic Bolt looks and uh, what you'll do is you just click on one it applies the effect to your intro and uh, there's all kinds of effects like some of them look jank like that so let's find one just skimming through that looks kinda cool that looks interesting uh, let's go ahead and select finished to apply it uh, let's see what it actually looks like Okay, so fades in red, big orange text. That looks really nice. I like that a lot. Except you can't really see what uh, the word point says. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit it. 
and I'm gonna pull the I've actually never edited one of these I'm gonna pull the gamma down or up okay uh, I'm trying to figure out what it is that I should be pulling down here um that looks good I guess um so good point as you can see and uh, now that we got our effect applied we're pretty much done editing so one other thing that I like to do is audio and waveform